Hello, Uncle Mike here. Would you like to read a book with me? Today's book is dedicated to a very special boy named David. Hi, David. Your dad told me this was one of your favorite books, and he also wanted to wish you a happy birthday and that your mom and dad love you. The book we'll be reading today is Mustache Baby by Bridget Hales. All right, let's go. Mustache Baby by Bridget Hales. Illustrations by Joey Ang. To Josh, J.A. From my boys, Johnny, Richie, and J.J., B.H. When baby Billy was born, his family noticed something odd. He had a mustache. What does this mean? His mother asked. Well, it depends, the nurse said. You have to wait and see whether it is a good guy mustache or a bad guy mustache. At first, it was plain to see that Billy's mustache was noble and just. He tamed a bucking bronco and became a cowboy. He always protected his cattle. Cared for injured animals and mended broken fences. After setting things right on the range, Billy rode off to become a ringleader, a Spanish painter, a sword fighter, and finally, a man of the law. For his neighborhood desperately needed him. With his cop badge, Billy was one tough hombre. He stopped speeders, outlawed poker, and caught thieves red-handed. Everyone loved having Officer Billy around. But a funny thing happened. As Billy got bigger, his mustache grew and curled up at the ends. His parents' worst fears were realized. Billy had a bad guy mustache. Billy's disreputable mustache led him into a life of dreadful crime. He became a cat burglar, a serial criminal, <laughs> and a train robber so heartless that he even stole the tracks. But when he planned the biggest heist of all, a bank robbery, his getaway car wasn't fast enough. He got caught and thrown in jail. Jail is no place for a baby, even a baby with a mustache. Billy tried to be strong, but he did shed a few tears. After ages and ages, Billy regretted his treacherous thievery. He wished that his evil mustache would go away. At last, his mother busted him out of jail. There, there, she said. Everybody has a bad mustache day now and then. Let's dry your tears, his father said. The new neighbors have a baby your age. He's coming over to play. Ding dong! <gasps> the end. <laughs> Much wow, Maxon, that was one silly book. I absolutely loved it. Thank you. I mean, a baby with a mustache? That's hilarious! Even on the back cover, it has... <laughs> it has a mugshot! <laughs> it, has a, it is... <laughs> and the placard says, been bad! Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, let's get back on track here. Okay, we're gonna have to dig a little deeper to find meaning here. 
At first, having a mustache was great. He had a good guy mustache, and he was behaving accordingly. He was doing nice things. He was using his imagination, being a cop, you know, being a cowboy, all these fun things. But then when his mustache turned bad, he started doing bad things, and then he ended up getting busted for it. And then when he was being punished for it, he ended up regretting what he did, and he wanted to change. Both his mom and dad said it was okay and that everyone has basically a bad day every so often. And then at the end, when he has a friend come over, the friend not only has a mustache too, but a full beard! That's hilarious! Oh my gosh, I just realized I didn't have my microphone connected. I hope this sounds better. I'm sorry, but I really loved my initial reaction and I, I had to record that. I don't even want to try to recreate that. All right, that does it for the read and review portion of the video. Now it's time for Uncle Mark. Thanks, bye.